everybody. Welcome back for part two of the Editor's Hall for this week. And it's actually spanning two weeks, July 27th and August 3rd. I'm pulling both of those weeks together to talk about all the books that came out, all the cool stuff that's out there for you to check out and try. Um, I want to mention right off the bat, um, I, episode one or, or part one was just done. Um, and that part one covers all of the Marvel books for these last two weeks. So if there's anything Marvel you're looking for, you want to watch uh, part one. Uh, this part will be the independent books. Uh, excluding image and then we'll be doing um, I guess I'll be doing two more parts sorry two more parts one for image and one for DC uh, to cover all of the books from each of those different groups so um, stay tuned for those right now we're gonna go through all of the independent books uh, starting with a company that I really really like I think they've been doing some great stuff and that is our ARH comics um, they have Aryan the head huntress uh, which is a really cool book um, they have this one they have um, uh, Ar Aria, I believe it's called, uh, A-R-I-A, um, and that is uh, like a Black Ops book. Uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, like an, The girl's like an assassin, but it's very interesting. This one's more like a barbarian type, uh, and it may or may not be in the mature reader section of your comic shop because it, uh, it does tend to have a couple little naked parts, but it's really a good story, great art, uh, great covers. They're really, really doing a great job with this. Uh, so I really am enjoying this book. Uh, these, well, that, that company in general. Uh, another great company, and we've actually interviewed the uh, the, the head of Aftershock Comics uh, a few couple months ago to kind of talk about what, you know where Aftershock came from and what they're doing and, and the cool stuff that's going to come in the future. Um, a new book, they have a new book out this week, Animosity. Uh, issue one just hit the newsstand, and this is Marguerite Bennett's new story. So she was doing Insects. Um, which I believe uh, Insects finished up, uh, might have finished up last week. So Animosity is her new one. And uh, Rafael de la Torre is doing the art. And uh, the art's pretty cool. Uh, you know, it's it's um, it's good. You got uh, some little uh, rats attacking some guy. Pretty cool. <laughs> it's very interesting. Uh, it's animals basically rebelling against humans is what it really looks like. So uh, it, it looks really, really interesting. Um, I'm very excited to start reading this one. Uh, this is the first August book for, for them. Um, so it's out on shelves today, uh, August 3rd. So you definitely want to check that one out. Uh, also out this week, Captain Kid number one, a brand new one from Mark Wade. Uh, and it's it looks pretty interesting. Uh, it's an older guy who gets powers that allow him to become like a, a younger kid, Captain Kid. So... Um, why would he ever change back, right? Uh, also out, uh, I believe last week, was American Monster, number four. And this is Brian Azzarello's book. Uh, very great book. I really like this one. Um, waiting for the story to kind of blow up here as we, we get into this next issue. Um, let's see here. Black Eyed Kids, number four. It's just a week or two weeks here where they just had a ton of Aftershock books. So uh, a lot of good stuff. Black Eyed Kids is just a creepy book. Um, you got all these kids who have black eyes who are doing crazy stuff and killing people and kidnapping people and forcing them to do different things. And we had uh, kind of the revelation last month that's our last issue that, you know, the kids are these like maybe an alien kind of creature and humans are the cattle. And he's like, you know, telling this woman you can, you know, cattle serve two purposes, one to work and two to be food, which would you rather do? And so I was like, I think I'll work. So he wants this lady to uh, to write the um, definitive story of what's going on and kind of keep a, a journal for history's sake. So I don't know. Aftershock's great. got some great stuff. Um, yeah, Black Eyed Kids is Joe Pruitt. So uh, don't forget to pick that up and check it out. It's pretty cool. Uh, Archie Comics has two books out this week. Uh, well, this week and last week. Um, Archie number 10 and Jughead number 8. So as they're continuing with the relaunch, um, Archie... Uh, still by Mark Wade and um, uh, Fiona F or uh, Veronica Fish. Sorry, uh, Mark Wade and Fiona, Veronica Fish still working on that. And I think we're getting closer to maybe uh, seeing Archie and Betty back together. So we'll see what happens. Uh, looks like uh, Riverdale is burning in the background. So don't forget that um, coming soon, and I know they're working on it now, the CW has optioned Riverdale as a, a new TV series. So they've they've actually cast several of the characters um, and it doesn't look too bad. You know, it looks like it's, they're kind of going along with the theme of the new 
the new comic series. So um, Jughead number eight as uh, last issue, I believe they kind of wrapped up the first story arc, which was to save the school from uh, an evil, like uh, secret spy training ground or something, you know, crazy stuff. So we'll see where um, Chip Zdarsky takes this new uh, this new story arc. So uh, I'm really liking that one. I'm not sure if I'm going to continue to get these. I might get them through issue 12 and then kind of, uh, you know, just pick and choose from then on. So we'll see. Uh, from Boom Studios, Munchkin uh, number 19 is out this week. And this is fun. If you like the Munchkin card game, uh, you'll like these stories. They're really just kind of fun stuff, taking little bits and things from, from the uh, Munchkin games. Uh, there's like a Wizard of Odd, a Wizard of Oddish type thing, not Oddish like the Pokemon, but um, basically they're promoting the Munchkin Oz um, guest edition, guest artist edition, which is coming out. Um, but then in the back again, there's a promo uh, code that you can use uh, on their website and get some special bookmarks and cards for the different games. And that's boom.warehouse23.com. That's the website uh, where you can buy all kinds of cool stuff. So. Good to check out. Dark Horse has a great book, uh, Van Jensen's New Cryptocracy. And this is really cool. Uh, very, very interesting story, you know, as kind of the the Illuminati thing out there and, and you know, all these people manipulating everything. So what what is that all about? Uh, and this book is, is uh, opening those doors. So it's pretty cool. Um, finally, 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 Garth Ennis wraps up A Train Called Love. Uh, and this, I mean, it's been a crazy book kind of a train wreck of a book, but it, it's really been interesting. So I'm, I'm excited to read the last last issue, issue number 10, and see how this uh, this is, you know gets done. So I know the big book that everybody's really been waiting for from IDW, of course, My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic, number 44. So many good things are happening in this book. I don't know any of them because I don't read it. I just get this from my daughters. So if you love My Little Pony, go ahead and tell me about them. I'll just say, yeah, that's great, and I'll, I will reply to your comments. <laughs> the Biggest Bang Issue 3 is out this week from IDW. Pretty cool-looking cover, some kind of like uh, Frankenstein's monster alien-looking thing on the cover there, and then there's some other ones on the back. Um, so some great art, and I know The Bigger Bang, which was the first series, was really good. I really enjoyed that. So far, I have Issues 2 and 3 now, but no Issue 1, so I feel bad. Uh, I can't even read the story yet till I get a hold of Issue 1. Uh, wrapping up Godzilla Oblivion this week with issue five, or maybe last week. I'm sorry, some of this stuff, uh, like I said, was last week's on this week's book. But this was a pretty cool one as we had two alternate dimensions and you had like this gate connecting the two and Godzilla and um, uh, King Ghidorah were battling it out. King Ghidorah was destroyed and they turned it into like Mecha Godzilla kind of thing to fight against Godzilla and fight against the other monsters. And it was just crazy. So if you like Godzilla stuff, They've been doing some really, really good stuff with uh, the last couple series, Godzilla in Hell, Godzilla Oblivion. Uh, before that was um, uh, Godzilla something, but it was a pretty cool, like, post-apocalyptic Godzilla story where everybody's just barely surviving and the the uh, uh, the big pod monster things were eating people. And it was it's pretty cool. So, Winona Earp continues with issue six. Uh, this is Bo Smith. Uh, Laura Ennis is doing the art, and uh, it's it's cool. If you're watching the show, uh, the show is on Sci-Fi on Friday nights, and it's been really, really good this first season. So definitely something to pick up and check out by Nona Earp. Judge Dredd, number eight, was out, I believe, last week. Uh, it looks like Judge Death there on the cover or some kind of weird death creature. Uh, maybe not Judge Death, but some kind of weird death creature with tentacle or with a uh, Shringe hands and I don't know, some Freddy Kruegerish type monster thing uh, with a little skeleton baby. Uh, some freaky, freaky cover art there, definitely for sure. But uh, been a really good series so far. Uh, I'm interested to see how they continue that. Uh, big book last week, Rom. And uh, not actually calling it Rom the Space Knight, but it is Rom the Space Knight. You know, if you remember him from back in the, uh, the 80s, basically. Uh, he was a Marvel character, and now IDW has picked him up. Um, some really, really cool stuff with the, the different covers, and I really like the uh, the direction they're going. They've had a zero issue that was out, uh, but Christos Gage and uh, Chris Rial are working on it, and it's uh, it's pretty good, pretty exciting. So I'm looking forward to reading this. 
All right, well, that's it from IDW. Um, Oni Press had one book out this week, and that is Jeff Steinberg, Champion of Earth. Um, and I just heard that it was pretty funny. It says, from the writer of The Bunker and the artist of, wait, My Little Pony? Okay, whatever. So uh, Joshua Hale Fialkov and Tony Fleeks uh, are working on this book. So uh, it looks uh, looks pretty cool. Um, looks like a funny book. Just something something good to check out. <clears throat> All right, and continuing, uh, Long Live the King, which is the new storyline in Exo Man of War, issue 48, counting down to 50. Uh, in each one of these, I got uh, two of the variant cover, or two of the covers, which I just thought were really cool looking. And in each one is a micro print, and the micro print could be uh, a hand drawn art card from one of the different artists. So um, every month they're doing these micro prints, and uh, that is a, a really cool thing. So, so far I've gotten a couple cool prints, no hand drawn stuff, but you, you can always hope. Um, Xenoscope has Satan's Hollow issue five this week as we're kind of getting down to the finale to find out what really happened and what's behind all of the, the deaths and the, the weird demon things that seem to be showing up. And last month uh, we actually had uh, a demon show up, and uh, so we know something bad's going on. <clears throat> and finally, from Z2 or Z Squared Comics, um, Indoctrination, chapter uh, issue two. This is Michael Morisi's new book, uh, and it's really, really cool. Um, yeah, Michael Morisi and Matt Battaglia with Jim Campbell are working on this. And, uh, you know, Indoctrination is kind of the training of the mind or training of, of someone uh, into a certain set of principles. And this seems to be like about some sort of like terrorist group or something, some person perpetrating acts of terrorism because of their beliefs. So uh, the first issue was really good. If you get a chance to check that out, Indoctrination uh, from Z2 Comics. So it's pretty good. All right. And that's it for the Indie Comics for this week. Uh, that's for July 27th and August 3rd. Uh, a lot of books out, so be sure to check out all that cool stuff. And, you know, it just gives you an alternative, something different to read than the regular old uh, Superman, Batman, Iron Man, X-Men. Uh, it's just something something neat. Sometimes these little self-contained universes are uh, a lot of uh, just a lot of cool stories to get into. Uh, and it takes your mind off of some of the, the other stuff that's going on in the world. So it's good stuff. But definitely check those out. Um, like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments. Let me know what you're reading, what you're not reading, what you're interested in reading, um, what you have questions about, any of that stuff. Um, just let me know and stay tuned for part three of the editor's hall for this week. And it's a big one. So part three and go read more comics. Thanks.